Hello dear students. In this session, we will start chapter 2 playing with numbers. In this chapter, you will be able to perform arithmetic operations on numbers and do calculations involving the operation of. You will be able to apply the rule of Bodmas and to appreciate and recognize patterns in numbers. Now let's discuss operation on numbers. Addition. Addition of two or more numbers gives us another number. The numbers being added are called addends and the new number thus obtained is called the sum. For example, you can see in the slide 51,829 plus 24,980 will give you the sum 76,809. Here 51,829 and 24,980 are the addends and 76,809 is the sum of the numbers. All the numbers are added in the same way. So the students, we can add the addends in any order but the sum remains the same in every condition. So if we add the above example 51,829 plus 24,980 in another way like 24,980 plus 51,829 we will get the same number that is 76,809 as sum. Now let's learn addition by grouping. When we add three numbers, we can add any two numbers first and then add the third number to the sum. In other words, we can group any two of the three numbers in order to find the sum of the three numbers. Let's look at the example. If we have to add three addends, First we add any two and then we add the third number to find their sum. Students, if we have to add more than three numbers, then also we can group any two of the given numbers. Or we can say if we have four numbers to be added, we can group them in any order but the sum remains the same. Now let's move on to the next operation on numbers that is subtraction. Subtraction of one number from another number gives us a third number. The new number thus obtained is called the difference of the two numbers. Or we can say we get the difference between two numbers by subtracting the smaller number from the bigger number. As you can see in the example, 82,190 minus 67,429 will give you 14,761. Here, 14,761 is the difference of the two numbers and all the numbers are subtracted in the same way. Now let's move on to the next operation on numbers that is multiplication. Multiplication of two or more numbers gives us another number. The new number thus obtained is called the product of those numbers. It means when we multiply two or more numbers we get their product. For example 16 multiply 12 will give you 192. Here. 192 is the product of the two numbers. The numbers 16 and 12 are called the factors of 192. Note that 1 is a factor of every number.
Let's learn multiplication using zeros. When we multiply a number by 10, 100, 1000, etc., we simply place the corresponding number of zeros to the right of that number. For example, if we multiply 15 by 100, we just add two zeros to the right of the number and the answer becomes 1500. Now let's move on to the next operation on numbers that is division. Division of a number by another number gives two new numbers, the quotient and the remainder. The number that is divided is called the dividend and the number that divides is called the divisor. As you can see in the example, here 12 is the divisor, 160 is the dividend, 13 is the quotient and 4 is the remainder. Dear students, in this session we have learnt about 4 fundamental operations addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We will learn about more in our next session. Till then, all the best.